Today I'm going to share with you behind the scenes of my video workflow so that it might give you some ideas and inspiration on how you might be able to produce your own videos. Hey, I'm Demelza Marie and I'm here to help course creators leverage video to boost the quality and credibility of their content and brand in order to become the recognized expert. Now in film speak, we talk about pre-production, production and post-production. So I'm going to divide this video by those same categories. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with pre-production. Now the first thing I'm going to do is research because I want to make sure that I'm making videos that are the best that I can make and that are going to be the most helpful to those who are watching them. So if it's a YouTube video, for example, I will often go and watch other people's videos and see what other people are doing and then think, how can I make my video better than that? And that is something that can help me to make good quality videos and make sure that I'm including content that I want to make sure that you get. Um, if it's a course that you're producing, then obviously I would recommend going ahead and doing the typical research that you would do for your online course to make sure your content is meeting the needs of your ideal students. Now, the next thing I do is to write an outline or a script. Now, it, I actually do a blend of both. So I have some elements that are very scripted and I want to say things in a very specific way. So I actually write those out. And then the rest of the time, I just use outlines or bullet points just to make sure that I am talking about the topic that I want to talk about. So for example, in my YouTube videos, I will often script the very first part, the hook, and make sure that I'm saying things in the right way. First of all, it makes sure that I'm saying things in the right way, but also it saves a lot of time going over things, trying to make sure I'm saying things in the right way. And then the rest of the script is pretty much an outline more than a script. So I know this is a topic I'm going to be talking on next. And then I just elaborate on that like I'm doing right now. The next thing would be to add any B-roll that I want to get. So for example, I can just add a little bit of a parenthesis and put in, you know, I want to show this script, for example. And that will help me to make sure that I'm getting all the B-roll that I want to get for the videos and that I have everything I need when I come to edit. Okay, the next thing is production. So this is where I set up all my equipment. Now I'm fortunate because I have a setup studio space. So most of my equipment is already set up and all I have to do is just tweak it a little bit. So just move the light out and uh, just move the camera across and that kind of thing. So it's not a big deal for me to do that. Um, I often start with turning the lights on, then the camera, and then the teleprompter equipment with the monitor and the teleprompter app. And all of those things just get switched on. And then as soon as everything is ready to go, I just make sure that I'm ready to go. <laughs> and then we go ahead and do the filming for that day. And I tend to try and batch record at least four videos in an afternoon so that I have all of those videos done and I can edit them all in a batch later. And I don't have to worry about actually having to get a recording done every week. Now, when it comes to post-production, I'm going to import all the video that I have just recorded and I'm going to organize those files first of all so that I don't have to worry about finding them later on. I'm going to go ahead and just drag those files that I want to use into the relevant bin in my editing suite so that I can access those into the timeline. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit that and create what you are going to see right now. <laughs> I do the rough edit first of all, make sure everything is in place. Once I've done that, I will then color correct it so that it is looking better. And then I will go through and check all the audio levels to make sure that it is sounding good. One of the things you want to make sure when you're recording your videos is that your audio is level in the sense that you don't want some very loud parts and very quiet parts. So if, for example, you have an introduction in your videos, then you want to make sure the introduction um, levels are the same as the rest of the video levels, because otherwise what you find is that people are having to turn the volume down or turn the volume up in order to hear you. Um, and what people don't like is, especially if they're wearing headphones, is to have it at a certain level and then suddenly blasting out very loud because that's just not very pleasant. So just make sure that your audio levels are level and um, I think that will really help. Uh, so once I've checked my audio and made sure that is sounding good, then I go ahead and make sure that the intros are added if I'm adding them. 
and any overlays such as text or b-roll or anything along those lines and then once everything is done I go ahead and check it and then I export it and then it ends up on YouTube for you to watch here or on social media or it ends up in my course platform so that you can learn more as well so that is the process Okay, so if you would like to learn more about this process and how to actually do each of these tasks in a step-by-step -step broken down way and how I actually set up my equipment, for example, then be sure to check out the link in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell buttons so that you get notified of more videos to help you become the recognized expert in your space. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.